Wayside Wade here at the Leonard Skinner Memorial Monument, right near Magnolia, Mississippi. This is Dwayne Easley. He was a first responder back in 1977, and he's also the vice president of the board for the Leonard Skinner Memorial. He was the first to enter the plane at the crash site. Do you want to share some of your experiences? Uh, there were several of us that got to the plane about the same time. I don't know how many, but uh, the first thing that I heard was a helicopter going over real low. And then we got a phone call. It's, Somebody said that a plane had crashed behind our house. And then we got out and tried to look for it, but we didn't know where to look. So pretty soon the, the helicopter came back in a search routine, you know, had a spotlight. And then when he stopped, we knew that's where the plane was crashed. And we ran to it through the woods. It probably took five minutes or so. Me and my buddy of mine, Wayne Blaze, and that's how we found it. This is Bobby McDaniel. He was also a first responder and he is president of the board for the Leonard Skinner uh, I also was a rescuer that night and uh, I was here probably uh, 45 minutes, maybe an hour after Dwayne. Uh, I had to come from nearby Macomb and uh, we had no idea what kind of plane it was. Dwayne, with what you have shared with us so far, it sounds like it was an intense experience at the crash site. Is there anything else you can share with us? Well, I, being inside the plane, being amongst those people, I, and I didn't know who they were at the time, but a lot of sharp metal, I got cut, I got cut a lot. They were bleeding, I was bleeding, um, like the old cowboy and Indian, they, they were blood brothers, because our blood got mixed. But, uh, yeah, that, the personal experiences I saw, these, I, you know, I, we got Cassie out. That's just one. We got a number of people out. I'm not sure who all of them were, but uh, it was, uh, it's really a gruesome sight to see all that. Uh, honestly, it was looking for a smaller plane, and... You know, Leonard Skinner was never mentioned whenever we went into the woods. And uh, we were working, and after the rescue was over and pretty well recovery started of the pilots, is whenever we found out it was Leonard Skinner. And uh, the news reports, you know, later on was reporting Leonard Skinner's plane. But early on, uh, nobody knew who was on the plane. How popular was Leonard Skinner back in 1977 when they crashed here near the memorial? I, they were very popular. I had been in three concerts, <coughs> and uh, uh, they had made uh, several European tours, a Japanese tour, but uh, in the in the states, uh, you know, they had become very popular. And uh, I like to borrow the message from one of my friends that uh, at a high school dance, if they couldn't play Free Bird, you know, they didn't get hired. <laughs> <laughs> if, if they were interviewing a band for a high school dance. How was the Leonard Skinner Memorial originally funded? How were you able to build all this? Originally we had uh, a GoFundMe page and the monument actually started as a sign on the side of the highway. But uh, Leonard Skinner's fans came through very well, GoFundMe, just as well as local people uh, and the current Leonard Skinner band. Uh, donated to the monument. Uh, we upgraded from a metal sign to granite uh, so it would be more durable and last longer. And by doing with the granite and Dwayne and his wife Lola uh, giving us, donating this land uh, gave us the chance to, uh, to go larger than a simple sign on the road. Dwayne, how did Lola and you come to donating this land? Well, of course, first of all, we tried to work with the state, put it out on the state highway, but it's always a lot of red tape when you're dealing with, you know, government. So we we were not going to be able to do this for a long time, dealing with them. So I was approached by our president, actually, and asked uh, what I thought about donating a piece of my property. The plane did crash on our family property, so... It's kind of fitting to put it on an easily property, I guess. But this uh, location here, I knew would look really good 
And I felt like, I'm gonna just tell you, I was in that plane, I saw those people. I saw them bleeding, I saw people that I heard, I heard them begging for help. And I, I wanted to do something, this is the least I could do. Bobby, does the board have any plans to expand and improve the memorial? We are always going to be uh, upgrading. We want to upgrade our security system that we have, uh, put in more video cameras. Not saying we've had a lot of problems, but we want you know to, to be able to have uh, a good video. Because the monument is open 24-7, uh, we have nice lighting. Uh, we possibly want to upgrade our lighting somewhat. The parking lot uh, is gravel now. We would love to uh, pave our parking lot. And once the COVID is over, we would uh, like to put in the bathrooms uh, because we are in the country and a lot of people do travel good ways to get here. Uh, we, we do need to supply you know, restrooms for them, but because of the COVID, we are just unable to uh, man that. And I see you have Wi-Fi here provided. That's a really nice feature. That's correct. Uh, we do have some merchandise for sale, t-shirts, caps, uh, stickers, such as that. And uh, also we have a donation box here on site. And many people today do not carry any cash. So because of the Wi-Fi, we are able to swipe credit cards. How can fans of Leonard Skinner get a hold of the board and, and help out with the monument? We have several ways. Uh, our web page is the best way to get a hold to us, LeonardSkinnerMonument.com. Also, we have a Facebook page, the same, Leonard Skinner Monument. Uh, both ways we have, uh, you can contact our board members as well as there are ways to go on and donate money to help with the upkeep of the monument as well as our hopefully our goal is to pave our parking lot here. Uh, we do have a post office box to where you can directly send money to our donation to Leonard Skinner Monument, P.O. Box 107, Macomb, Mississippi 39649. Now the actual address is 7364 Easley Road, Magnolia, Mississippi. We have goals to uh, you know, build our restrooms, build a merchandising store, do security. So the one year that we did raise money for the monument, you know, we didn't stop. We're continuing to uh, raise money. We have a way that you can donate if you come here on site, as well as we have a credit card to where you can donate through credit card. Or if you do choose to buy a t-shirt while you're here, we'll be able to sell t-shirts while you're here at the monument, as well as we can mail t-shirts to you if you purchase online. Thank you to Bobby McDaniel and Dwayne Easley for all the information and everything they shared. Please consider supporting the memorial to help maintain and make improvements. Thank you.